Today is gonna be a great day. Great day. We're breathing. Of course it's gonna be a great day. Breathing. Mm -hmm, that's right. Exactly. Precisely, absolutely, completely. Without a doubt. Yes, indeed, undoubtedly. You bet. Don't forget. It said. What's up, Brett? What? I'm trying to rhyme. Another time. <laughs> Good one. I know. Thanks for always being silly with me, Penny. Of course. Hey guys, welcome to our channel. We are giving an update because it has now been a few weeks since our fur babies had their surgeries. So I'll do a quick recap of what went down there so those that don't know can catch up. But before we get started, we really need to see if Jimmy and Josie need to stretch today. So here is the quick recap for those who need it. Sorry to those that have already heard this. So last month, Jimmy and Josie got neutered and spayed. They did great, but it was a challenge to get them to rest during their healing time. They just wanted to play so bad. I'm dreaming about fetch. <laughs> getting pretty sleepy. <laughs> we just gave them extra cuddles and made sure they got their rest and they have both healed up so well. And I mean, they seem like they're pretty much all better. Penny had a dental clean done the day before the dogs had their surgery. She was actually due to get a clean and extractions. There were multiple teeth with redness and swelling that the vet was concerned about, but she couldn't determine exactly what we would need to get done until Penny was medicated for x-rays and, and already put under. Penny has had extractions in the past. It seems like whenever she needs a clean, she also has like more swelling and teeth that are causing her pain and like extractions needed again. Penny's teeth just seemed like they were genetically bad. The first clue that there was a chance she might have issues with her teeth was that her um, biological brother, Oliver, who was adopted by my sister and brother-in-law, um, he had to have his teeth removed at a pretty young age due to stomatitis. And Oliver has thrived without teeth. I mean, he eats wet food, dry food, he's doing great. And at this point, since we've been going with vet recommendations on food and dental care for Penny for years, and it's still like quickly gotten worse, we expected something similar might be coming for Penny. We hoped it wouldn't, but all this to say, we've been concerned about her teeth for a while, and we knew there was always that small possibility she might have issues and need that full mouth extraction in the future. We didn't realize that under the surface, there was a lot going on and she was in more pain than we knew and that, that just breaks my heart. We started noticing that she wasn't grooming as much or at least it looked uncomfortable when she tried to groom like right here. Another indication was that she just wasn't being as playful, like she didn't seem to want to bite her toys as much. And as soon as we noticed that there was some redness on her gums, we made an appointment with our vet. The x-rays showed so much swelling, including inflammation of the bone around the teeth. So the vet called us and told us that it was just more extensive than she thought. And after taking the x-ray, she would really recommend going to a dental specialist. So Penny got her clean and then she did come home to rest for a little bit before we had the appointment with the specialist. She was scheduled for consultation with the specialist the first day um, and the surgery was supposed to be the next day, but thankfully they had an opening the same day um, because it was a long drive and Penny does not love car rides. Her doctor evaluated Penny and said that she would definitely need quite a few teeth out to relieve her pain but she would call us after she did her own x-rays. I got that call and it was really rough. I was really sad to hear that Penny's been suffering. Not only was it confirmed that she now did have stomatitis, but she also had a lot of resorptions. Both of these things don't have a known cause. They are both very painful, and sadly, they are both common in cats, and the best treatment is extractions. Stomatitis will just continue to get worse. So the vet did recommend a full mouth extraction, and we did discuss it, and we decided to move forward to avoid any more pain and any further dental surgeries for Penny. It's been a rough one for her. We felt very confident in our decision because we knew that Oliver did so much better after getting his teeth extracted, and we've done our research and we do understand it. And I am so grateful that she got this surgery done and she got it done by someone who did an amazing job and she is just doing so good. She's doing so much better. Penny was literally eating and like purring and meowing the very first night home. And within that first week, she was grooming, she was visiting with the other cats, she was being more playful and like just overall doing better than she has in like a, a couple months. And it has now been a little over three weeks and she is pretty much just back to herself. I just love how she goes for it now when she's playing and she's kind of, she's just been cautious lately. She has not wanted to bite things. So now pain is not gonna get in the way of her fun. I am in support of that. And now when she tries to bite my hair, she will actually chew pieces of my hair off. So that's a plus. And of course we are on a handbrake because we need to let Penny completely heal. So wet food only for now, but she can actually do wet food or dry food. She can choose her preference once she's healed. So we're just gonna show some clips of Penny and how she's been doing and what she's been up to. Hi. Hi, Penny. Everyone's asking how you're doing. 
They are? Yeah, your followers have been worried about you. I'm great. Thanks, guys. Anything that you'd like to share? It's not so bad. I'm so glad. Well, you know, a lot of people commented their stories about their cats and situations that they've been through that are really similar to yours. <gasps> ah. I'll have to read them to you sometime because I think that's really nice of people to do that. Okay. I'm hungry. Oh my goodness, the coziness is so real. Oh, these babies. Oh my goodness. So cute. Penny, I'm going out for a bit. Bye! I'm gonna leave Josie in charge. Josie? Yeah, I'm just gonna be gone for like 30 minutes. I can be in charge. Mm -mm, I'm sorry, that's just not a good idea. Hey! I'm basing my decision on past experience, so. Fine! You be good, okay? I'll be back soon. Stop it! This is ridiculous. I'm back. Finally. What? It wasn't very long. Josie wouldn't leave me alone. Oh, Penny, that sounds terrible. It was. You survived. That's what matters. Barely. Oh, the drama, Penny. Drama? Mm. You're so soft and cuddly. Uh, can we play? Sure. Um. Um. Nom, nom, nom. Nom. Are you having fun, Penny? Where is it? What? The string. I don't know. Haven't seen it. Maybe you should look around. <coughs> Penny. Penny, it's on you. Penny. Penny? Huh? It's right there on your ear. Right where? Right on your ear. Right, right there. Okay, you got it. There you go. What? <laughs> Never mind, Penny. Hey, you two need anything? Sandwich. No sandwiches yet. Mm. I'll take a buddy. Listen, if you think of something that's soft and healthy that you want, just let me know. I gotta check the sauce. Wait! Jeez, <laughs> I just about lost my hearing. Mom! Yeah? Did you think of something? I love you. <laughs> love you too, Penny. Don't oh, stop being so sappy. Yeah. What? Hey, I'm gonna be cleaning the cat boxes, so if anyone needs to go, they're gonna be out of order for a bit. I can hold it, I'm not a child. All right, I just wanted to check. Humans always underestimate our intelligence. I wonder where our poop ends up. All right, finally time for a kip. I don't even know what she's saying. Was that a good nap? The best. What are you doing back there? It's time for a kip relocation. <laughs> Sorry, that was me, I'm okay. Sorry I scared you. You did. <laughs> sure, whatever you say. I do want to say thank you to you guys for your concern and your love and support for Penny. That's really sweet. For you guys to care about our family and our pets, um, it means a lot. So with everything going on, I didn't put together our cute little compilation this month. So here is the last little compilation of Penny with teeth. This will be February's compilation of her short, cute little videos. So enjoy Penny's last moments with teeth, but we don't miss them because she's doing so much better without them. And we are so happy that everything went the way that it went and she's pain-free. Thanks guys. Now enjoy a lot of cute Penny. Hey, are you going shopping with me? Today? Yeah, I'm almost ready to go. I'm just gonna get changed. <sighs> oh, are you too tired to go? I don't know. I'm fine. All right, okay. Well, I'm gonna get ready then and then we'll <sighs> head out, okay? Mm, you seem tired. You're right. Penny, do you want to just stay home and sleep? That's a great plan. Okay, well, I will pick up your favorite ham while I'm out. Deal? Oh, yeah. You get it so easy, Penny. You don't even know. You... <laughs> Are you babysitting? I am. Who are you in charge of? Gracie. Are you going to make sure that she eats while I'm gone? Yeah. And drinks water? Yeah. And make sure she's safe? Yeah. Hey, sit down. 
Look at you, in control. Okay, you are in charge while I walk to the mailbox, okay? Okay. So, everyone survived? We did. I did great. Amazing work, Penny. <laughs> I'm mad. Oh, no. It's not okay. Can you explain? Well. Are you tired? Let me say it. Oh, sorry. Well, I'm tired. Need me to ask mm. everyone to be quiet? Yes, please. Penny's nap time, everyone! Gracie. Hmm, careful. Little tight. Can I bite you? I don't want you to. I don't like it. Mmm, yeah. What is this? Mmm. Scotties. Mmm. That's enough. We're back. Great. We've been gone for three days. Aren't you excited to see us? I'm mad. Why? Because we were gone? You forgot. Well, Penny, you said you wanted to stay home and sleep. So? As soon as I said we were going somewhere cold and snowy, you refused to come. Why didn't you just take me? <laughs> I'm not forcing the fun on you. You have to accept the invitation. Next time. Next time, maybe we'll go to Disneyland. I'm in. Hey, cutie. Hi, Mama. What's your favorite dessert? Um, watermelon. No, it isn't. I mean, that would be nice because then you'd eat less cake. But <laughs> what is your favorite animal? Oh, really? Are you sure you don't mean cat? I love cows. Should we get a cow? Yeah. Would you share your bed with it? Yeah. You're so sweet. I love you, Penny. I love you too, Mama. So pretty. Oh, me? No, Gracie. Oh, oh yes. Uh, Gracie does look very pretty today. Um, Favorite song? Grinkle, Grinkle. Good choice. Okay, can you say bye? Bye, guys. Okay, well, you want to split a ham sandwich? Yeah. Lily, I found your baby videos. Look. Oh, my. Oh, is that my old buddy? Oh, yeah, there's our poo poo. <laughs> so cute. Oh, dear, wasn't I cheeky? Well, you don't remember acting like this? Absolutely not. I was such a menace. No, you were a kitten, and poo poo adored you and would tolerate just about anything you do to him. Why was my balance? You were a baby. That's no excuse. Oh, you know when I said Boo Boo would tolerate anything? When we first got you, you would smush into him and try to nurse on him. I did no such thing. That's my brother from another mother. I think you might have been younger than we thought you were when we rescued oh, you. Oh, see, look, right there. We're just cuddling. Sure, that's fine, but I just needed you to be aware of how tiny and adorable you were. And you still are, of course. And you are still pretty cheeky sometimes. Who, me? Don't lose your silly side, Lily. It's the best. Was I cute, baby? You want to see your little self? Yeah. Yes, please? Please. Oh, you're so small, and it's still so round. <laughs> I didn't think I could be any cuter. Hey, that's my thing. How you feeling? Okay, I guess. Do I smell weird? Mm, boop. Thanks for the boop. I got you, Jimmy. You're my buddy. Wow, Jimmy, Penny's looking after her little pup. <laughs> she adores me. I think she's adopting you. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Penny, who is it? No. No, I'm not. What? 40 minutes. What's happening in 40 minutes? I don't think so. Calm down. Wait, is there someone who is not calm who is coming here in 40 minutes, Benny? I don't know about that so much. About what? I don't know. Goodbye. Boop. So, who was that? Penny, who was on the phone? What? You weren't even talking to anyone. There are no calls on here. <laughs> like a pile of ham yeah gorgeous yeah i'm not sure if i'd go as far as saying that but excuse me oh penny i like it i just i wouldn't consider it gorgeous per se well then what did i offend you yes your ham pile is gorgeous penny let's sarcastic <sighs> sorry i mean for me i would describe it as cute that's it well, i guess we just have different opinions and that's okay i appreciate your appreciation for it okay okay Bestie. Hi, Penny. That's nice. Not that. Coming in for a kiss. A kiss? Yes, ma'am. Help! Penny, try saying zucchini. I don't like bikinis. I kind of feel the same way about bikinis, so I get it. But I like, I, I like ice cream. Yes, yes, you do. I know you do. Okay, can you say comfortable? Comfortable. 
phone. Phone. Okay, so we're getting crazy here, okay? I need you to try to say gift certificate. Certificate. I think we're getting there. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm missing something. Something important. Probably nothing. Maybe I'm missing my wallet? Wait, I don't have pockets. Are you comfortable like this, Penny? Mm. Oh, I love you. If I don't have pockets, then I must not have a wallet. It's a long ride, Penny. Is this cozy? I think a dove just landed on my head. Where'd it go? Did it fall down?